Jenny Gailey with Grace Footsteps. Today I am so excited because I have discovered from the Word of God three keys on how to live life offense free. That's right, you can live, you can live life offense free. The enemy will tell you, oh no, you're going to live offended and hurt and rejected. But God says, no, that's not you. You can live life offense-free in a world jam-packed with opinions and offenses and wounds and hurts and clashing personalities. You can live life offense-free by living out in faith these three verses. Okay, the first verse we're going to look at today is Galatians 2, 19 through 20. Galatians 2, 19 through 20. For I, through the law, died to the law that I might live to God. I have been crucified with Christ. It is no longer I who live, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith in the Son of God who loves me and gave himself for me. Y'all, out of all of these verses in the Bible, this one, God has shown me so much from this verse. Not only Christ died, but when Christ died, I died. The old me has died. That's why, if you're wondering why I'm filming in black and white today, because I'm going to talk about how to break free from the past. You don't have to live out from the old you. You can live life in the new you. You have been crucified with Christ. So how can a dead person be offended? You've already died. You've been crucified. That's not you. The real you is hidden in Christ Jesus. So, every time that you're offended, that's living in a lie. We don't live by the lies of Satan. We live by faith through the Son of God. So, the second key is Ephesians 4, 32. Oh, before I go on to that, let me tell you, this is in my heart right now. So, one time I had a vision in the spirit, you know, just a picture in the spirit of all these people in the body of Christ dragging around corpses. And God showed me by his word through Galatians 2, 19 through 20 that people who accepted Christ as their Lord and Savior were burdened down. And why they were burdened down is because they're carrying and dragging the corpse of the old Person. The old person could be filled with um, offense or regret or whatever, rejection. But if you're dragging around that old you, an old corpse, that stinky corpse, ew, you know, don't touch what's dead. Don't touch what has already died to the law. That is old. That is yucky. That is unclean. You are clean. You are holy. You are set apart. You are resurrected with Christ, seated with him in heavenly places. So cut yourself off from your old corpse. Okay, so now on to Ephesians 4.32. Be, the new you, be kind to one another, tenderhearted, forgiving each other. Up. Oh, just as God in Christ also has forgiven you. Oh, so why do we forgive? Because you have been forgiven. You didn't deserve Christ's forgiveness. I didn't deserve Christ's forgiveness. So how do we forgive? Because we have already been forgiven. So when offense comes, because let me tell you, it's going to come. The Greek word for offense is scandalon, and it literally means bait from Satan. He has already set up little traps, 
according to personality conflicts, according to your past wounds, to have a little trap, a little bait from Satan, a little offense. Are you going to take it or are you going to say, no, that's not me. I'm going to be kind and compassionate because I've already been forgiven. Okay, so Romans 117, we're going to discover the third key to live life offense-free. For in it is the righteousness of God revealed from faith to faith, as it is written, the just shall live by faith. So you may say, Jenny, I understand what you're saying. I hear what you're saying, but I still feel offended. It's I feel offended. Well, you are not your feelings. You are not your feelings. So you've got to live from faith to faith. Faith in his word. Claim these words. I am not offended. I have forgiven this person. Say it out loud until the new you is walking it out over the old you. And that is how you overcome offense.